Good evening everyone, this is Fezzik Jr. and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, so in one of uh, Code Primate's most recent videos he actually was gathering some oak wood. Um, which are these basic trees uh, right there. Um, but um, he he didn't do what I thought he was going to do, which was, you know, go through and, and get them the, the, the quick way, the, the, the way that you can actually kind of mod them. Is this thing stuck open now? Oh, it's stuck open. That's okay. Here, I'll just, we'll just respawn it. I'll be alright. Uh, so, I am going to show you guys how I go through and mod trees. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves... A tree right here right and okay I have an axe on me good <laughs> all right and get ourselves a tree all right this should be a quick video unless things go crazy which if you guys have seen any of my videos sometimes they do that <laughs> so anyway we're gonna get the tree okay that's actually a pretty good size oak tree uh, all things considered all right pop in here we're gonna go and I think we'll be able to get it to fit in right there. So we're just going to get the tip to the, the trunk, rather, to go through, and then we got to get we're going to get this. Oh, come back. We're going to get this piece to go through. There we go. All right. Now we're going to set this right, right there. Okay. And the location is important. You want it in the middle of your truck, and you want it as far towards the back as possible. Okay, so we're going to head out. All right, hopefully it's going to stay between the two back tires there. Hopefully I'm not going to crash into a tree that just, you know, has been growing there the whole time. Uh, and hopefully as I back up, this won't go crazy or sideways or nothing. Oh, come on, get back there. Come on. This is one part where we're actually driving with a... Uh, there we go, okay. Then we're going to open this guy up right there. All right. Now, normally you can't you can't really pick these up when you've got the, the end piece like that, right? Like you can even maybe start to pick it up, but even if you do, it'll glitch right back to where, where it was, so... You get some other object like this block of wood here, say, right? And then you just kind of push it onto your conveyor belt right there. There it goes. We'll get over here. Now, you guys see, I mean, that's only, what, maybe four units of wood? Five, maybe? You know, because it doesn't count the whole thing, like the whole thickness of the piece of wood. As long as it drops, no, drop, drop, no, 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 no. Well, I don't know what it's going to do now. Well, it might work. <laughs> I have no idea. Probably not, though. No, it did work. Oh, goodness. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so. Um... And that piece is just going to, wait, did it work? Well, some of it worked. Well, that's interesting. It kind of worked. That piece didn't, but that piece sure did. Uh, here, let's open this guy up. There we go. And then this piece also did not So. That's interesting. I actually wasn't expecting my chop saw to come down. I thought it was going to be just short enough to where it would fall down there. But apparently not. But as you can see, it still worked. I mean, that's obviously way bigger than um, the twig that was going down there. I mean, that's the whole tree right there. So let's try this again, all right? I'll get a different size tree. Uh, here, let's... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's right. I respawned the truck. I was like, why is that door shut? I thought it was stuck open. <laughs> Fezzik, you're losing your marbles. I know. I know I'm losing my marbles. 
Okay, let's get let's get this one right here, okay? Oh, that was too low. There we go. Alright, and then we're just gonna throw it in the back of the tree, in the back of the truck. Oh, come on. Come on. There, there. Now, get in the truck. There. Alright. Now, honestly, I'm not 100% positive I'll be able to get this one to fit, but we're going to try. I think it'll be okay if I go like on this side over here. We just got to get that trunk to get hit with the... There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, I, I almost grabbed one of those pieces. All right, so we just get this to turn around. Come on. Here, I'll just I'll hold it by this piece right here. So you get the the end the very last end twig right here, all right? Just throw it in the back of the truck. Right around there. Ooh, that got kind of choppy there for a second. And then you avoid all the other trees on the way back. And you smack into that thing right there. No, just kidding. Just kind of try to get it back away from um, the cab of the truck well enough that you can get your other object in there, right? Okay, just just push it along a little bit. Give it a little, little push. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Alright, this one also might be a little bit too long, but it seems like it still works. So, we'll see. Did it really get stuck on a little oak tree? There we go. Oh, and that one got pushed kind of weird, didn't it? There we go. All right, so which one actually planked out? Not that one. Let's see, is this one gonna mod out? Yeah, there we go. That's way bigger, right? So. That's what you do. You uh, get yourself any tree. I mean, it works with oak trees, cherry trees, lava trees, whatever it is. Go and sell it off. Keep the last little tip of it, okay? The last segment of it that that um, hasn't been cut, but just, you know, everything else disappears and the wood drop off. And then go and drop it in your sawmill. And I would suggest that you've got it set to the highest setting so you don't get this giant long plank unless of course that's what you're wanting um, but yeah that's what you do so just a quick little how to uh, combining a couple of methods that I learned from a couple of codes videos uh, a more recent one from just a couple days ago I guess at this point when it actually releases it'll be a few days ago um, and then another one from oh gosh six months a year something like it a while ago um, so shout out to Code Primate. Uh, thanks for teaching us all these really cool uh, things in lumber. And uh, we will see you guys next time in another video or live stream or whatever it happens to be. Catch you later. Bye.